I always try to be positive when it comes to new games and movies. I don't like being negative, and I want to like things, and I want to enjoy things. But I cannot, in good conscience, support this game. How does one of the best developers that we have make something that is so slimy and scummy? They have had almost 10 years to make a new game, and this is it? Some Fortnite-inspired looter-shooter garbage? Any game that costs $70 should not have any microtransactions or battle pass. Are they serious with this? It's ridiculous. I'm not sure if I should be more upset with Rocksteady or WB, but either way it's happening and this game will be a live service piece of trash just like Avengers and a thousand other failed live service games that are trying to ride that Destiny train. That the only thing I have any hope of being good in this game is potentially like the story and the cutscenes, but because it's a live service game I don't have much faith. How can you tell a coherent, meaningful story if the gameplay loop is designed to be never-ending to encourage you to indulge in the battle pass? We aren't players, we are statistics. They will have the best alternative costumes and weapons behind a paywall. And this is just every bit, if not more, egregious than Shadow of War. Do you remember that? It had loot boxes in a single-player game, also published by WB. And, you know, I'm sure we all remember when it came out that David Zaslav, who was the, you know, CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, wanted to make all of his future video games live service. And I'm so sick of live service games. It honestly makes me a little worried for the follow-up to Hogwarts Legacy. Is that going to be a live service piece of shit too? I'm, I'm sick of it. Any way to nickel and dime the player for more money, and I'm sorry, but charging $70 is more than enough. Hell, I'd even say $70 is too expensive. Do you think that all of us are rich? $70 is a lot of money to me, and if they think for a second I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on that trash, then they are wrong. A battle pass should never be inside of a full price game. That's the kind of crap that you stick in a free to play game. And it's not like it can be saved. You know, the gameplay from the footage doesn't exactly look amazing. Just some generic looking third person shooter. Shoot the big purple spot, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. That looks like all this is. And you know, I never thought I would end up being one of those guys that says, things were better back in my day. But you know what? As annoying as expansions were 10 years ago, at least they had some value. You will never be able to convince me that there's any real value in a battle pass. All those extra outfits and weapons should be unlockables in the base game. And I should be able to just unfind and unlock them by playing the game, not paying you more money on top of the $70 I've already spent. I just really hate the modern video game industry. For every truly great game, we get 20 or more of these fucking cash grab games that will just squeeze us dry for all the money that we have. So I decided I am not going to be supporting this game. There's so many more games out there that deserve our attention and our money made by people that actually want to make something special instead of trying to trend chase and suck every dollar they can from us. And it's sad for me, honestly, as a DC fan. The Arkham games were a true bright spot among all of the negativity and discourse around the movies and it's sad to see that that's how it's going to end this will probably be the last time we hear any new kevin conroy batman one of the greatest to ever do it and his final performance will be in this soulless cash grab and what's even worse is they will probably try and market it as his final performance just to get a few extra dollars out of fans like me that love that man's performance as Batman and want to see what great work he put in at the end. But I'm not 
paying $70 for this. Maybe if the game just crashes and burns and in a couple of months it's going to be $20. You know, maybe if it gets a discount that deep, maybe I'll give it a shot. But even then, I'll feel dirty about it. And the fact that even if I want to play alone, I have to be connected online is just ridiculous. I hate that. Don't give me the option to play alone if I have to be connected to the internet. My internet's not very great. You know how long it takes me to upload these videos? Long ass time. My internet sucks. It's shocking to me how excited I was at the first announcement of this game. And now when I see an ad for the game, I just feel disdain and anger. You know, what are your thoughts on the game? Will you get it, wait, or stand strong and refuse to support this kind of shitty business of putting battle passes on $70 games? God, I, just, I hate these people that make these decisions. They are probably the most smug douchebags. And I hope that backlash of stuff like this is as bad as the backlash for Battlefront 2. Well, my rant's over. Have a good day, everyone. Let me know what your thoughts are down below.